steps from Cindy Reynolds front yard. It's just going to be a nightmare. Sits a proposed subdivision. Hoover's well known Smith Farm property went up for auction in October. Right now, a developer thinks he can get up to about 43 homes on parcels he purchased. We want to keep our community small. We want to keep the community quiet. Monday night, Hoover's Planning and Zoning Commission voted to recommend a rezoning change. It could allow for another four homes. We're going to have a lot more traffic. Jack Hill has lived in the neighborhood for 35 years. He fears what the proposal means for traffic. 47 more houses, uh, that would be if everybody, each house had two cars, and you know there's going to be more than that, so that's more traffic than what's down here. The white barn and pond went to a different buyer and are not a part of this plan. The developer says he thinks this will benefit the community and explained a traffic study shows the roads in the area could handle the increase in cars. Some neighbors told us they're all for the change, but others say... I think new development is not a good thing in the Bluff Park area. Next is for City Council to give their final vote of approval on the rezoning. We're told that could happen next month. In Hoover, Mary O'Connell, WVTM 13.